reality is every couple out there has something that keeps reoccurring in that relationship and it keeps them fighting every relationship every couple out there it has an issue it has failed to resolve and it keeps them fighting let me give you an example i could be a working wife that has failed let me say a working woman that has failed to juggle between home responsibilities and work duties have failed and now i have a husband whom i'm not giving time i have children whom i'm not giving time and my husband is complaining i come back tired and i don't even i don't even want him to touch me you know huh? i'm tired he should be understanding you know as a woman a woman that's what i'm thinking i'm tired he should be understanding <laughs> that's a big problem i gave us an example let me give another example um i could be having uh, someone you could be having someone who is a cheat and every time you try to complain he he's like ah, but i'm that men, men don't even cheat you know these things our grandfathers have always done my father did what's new he she should get used so if the woman keeps bringing up this complaining about this you're going to keep fighting about this because you're not going to be seeing her as an, an understanding woman and before you know it this man is going to start calling that wife or oh, that girlfriend nagging because she's complaining about his cheating and for him he thinks men do not cheat they have a right to to enjoy with anyone you know i'm saying this because uh, uh many people are in relationships where they think it's okay for us to keep having these fights. And some of them have become comfortable with it. You know, m my husband comes back at, at 2 or at, at, at 7 in the morning and I'm okay with it. You know, my wife, my wife, it's, I, I can spend a month without touching her. She doesn't let me touch her and I'm okay. Now I'm used to it. People have such issues even more. Even more. Uh, I'm, 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 bringing, I'm making this video because um, I want to tell someone out there who sees issues in your relationship, what problems in your relationship as okay, I'm used to it, that it's not okay to, for you to get used to these problems. Because the heart doesn't stop from hurting and the mind doesn't stop from working to know that what I'm taking in is wrong. And some people even go to an extent because I've talked and talked about it and this person is not changing. Now I gave this person a deadline, but it's in my head. I'm giving this man a chance to, for him to change. If he doesn't change in two years time or in one year, I'm going to leave him. But I've not even told him. Like, we've kept fighting and then I reached that conclusion in my head. He doesn't know. So before you know it, this woman is packing her things out. And now the wife is, the, 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 the husband is like, but I've not done anything to her. Because to him, that it has been reoccurring that he doesn't see a problem with it. This woman complained and even stopped complaining. Or oh, this man complained and even stopped complaining. Now, he, he reached a conclusion, but let me just get another woman. Because this wife of mine is so hardworking, which is not bad. But then, she has failed to give me time. She doesn't, want me to she doesn't want me to touch her and all that. So, what should I do? Let me get someone else. She's the mother of my children. Let me keep her there. But let me get someone else. And trust me, when this man goes ahead and gets someone else, you're going to feel so bad. And before you know it, you're going to be like, oh, hey, Elma, I got your, your number from a friend. And you told me you can help me. What should I do? My husband is leaving. Oh, she got, he got someone else. Oh, my wife is packing out because I've been overly cheating. I've been disrespectful. She has been patient, but I, 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 want, I want you to explain to her I can't change. 
do not wait for that milk to boil and spill and it burns you know when it when it spills on the stove it starts burning and smells so bad do not wait for that situation it's messy it's messy and it's not easy to clean up sit and have a conversation with your partner about something you're not comfortable with peacefully resolve that matter peacefully because at the end of the day if you do not if you do not <laughs> trust me if both of you don't regret one of you will regret so if you think you forever want to stay with this person you're with do not act okay with something you're not okay with if you want a happy forever with someone openly talk about matters that are hurting you talk about these issues before someone overly gets used to you oh my my partner is okay uh, actually and, and in such relationships people outside all friends and family are the ones telling the past the partner but but how is your husband patient with you when you act like that oh how is even your wife standing you but uh, my wife is used oh my husband is okay with me oh she, he loves me the way i am people outside are warning you because for them they are seeing reality it's not happening it's not real like your partner can't be okay with that kind of behavior but for you, you see nothing wrong with it and trust me before you know it this person will will quit and then you'll be like but but I, i'm willing to change someone has always complained but why do you come back in the morning yet you leave work at five but you're also nagging i come back late tired and you still nag why don't you let me rest when are you giving her time when are you giving your family time if you leave work at five then you go hang up out with the boys or your girlfriends and come back at two when everyone is tired and sleeping in the morning you have to wake up and go to work when are you giving your family time trust me if this partner of yours gets someone who will give her time and they bond he, and he makes a friend out of that person you won't keep that man i'm going to be here to wait to, to, to listen to your stories they will be painful but i do not want you to let it reach that extent work on that issue bef when you still can work on that issue before your partner gets a solution to it work on that issue before that person you want her forever with leaves you don't say I didn't say it and now I've said it some of you say you know I've tried talking to him but he can't listen you can involve someone to counsel you that is why we are here it's our job it's our job to listen and not take sides it's our job to help to mentor it's our job so if you have such a burning issue or burning issues in your relationship and you need you feel the two of you have failed to work out you feel the two of you have failed to understand each other yet you love each other maybe you need someone to intervene and help out otherwise we shall be here i'm here inbox me email me everything anything call me i'll be here to help otherwise thank you for watching and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel share this video if you find it educative thank you very much